Yo, what is up, guys? Gonna be queuing some Obi-Wan games for today. Actually, I haven't played ones in a little bit on the channel, so why not? Let's get into some ones games. Hopefully, we can play well and catch some dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, for the first game, we got ourselves against LaCroix. I think is how you say that. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, let's get into it. I don't really recognize his name, to be honest, but he's pretty high up in one, so definitely gotta take him seriously. I think we faked him a little bit there. It's gonna be really tough to stop. He's the whole net, but. Dealt with it really well. Got out of the situation. You got the boost instead of going for the shot. It's safer to wait for the ball to bounce here. Oh, that was a bad shot. I tried to catch him off guard. Shooting back post instead of shooting like into the obvious spot there, but he was ready for both. So I played from him. Ah, that's unlucky. I got bumped a bit and I lost the boost battle like pretty hard there. I had to waste all my boost to get to that boost and he just won it, so. Go for a flip reset fake, maybe. Still get back and recover. That's why I like doing those. If it gets under him, you have a free goal. And if what happened happens, then you can still get back. I just pop that there. He's gonna have to panic a little bit. He's actually playing pretty well here. It's a really good 50 from us, though, and it should be a goal. Even though I almost slammed it at the crossbar. Just practicing my placement. I'm just kidding. I actually have a bad habit of doing that. I have an empty net and I love just shooting high. As long as you wait to play against him. He's actually like an instant cue for me. Which is surprising. Within like, probably like 5-10 seconds of queuing I found him. Okay, doing well so far. And quite back and forth. I could tell he's like confident in his dribbles. He loves to just take the ball down to himself. Just a smart way to play it. Wait for the bounce here. Try to control this ball. It's gonna be bad. It's probably gonna be a goal. There's very low chance he messes this up. Yeah. It had to bounce really well for me to even have a chance there. It's quite unfortunate. He instantly rushed it and got a really good win on it. Well played by him. Gonna wait for the bounce here, try to make him panic a little bit. Same situation. I'll always reach this ball next. If you have to flip for a ball like that, I know he's low boost, so am I. But I'll always reach that ball first, so. There's no danger in doing that. Try to just control this for myself. Take a shot, make him have to panic a little bit. Try to make him back off here with a couple of fake jumps. And if we win this boost, then he has to back off. He has no choice but to leave, and I know that. So now we can go for an air dribble bump. A high percentage play that will most likely go in. And uh, that's just like pretty basic way to score goals in ones. Just you win that corner boost on your side. You know they have to back off, and you go for you know, a high percentage play that you'll score most of the time. It's the way to do it. Close. Spiked him out a little bit. I'm going to grab this boost first, and then I can come in with a little bit more speed. I have more options. I give myself more options like this. Try to play it around him. Take this boost again. It's going to spawn. I can go up the wall with this. Try to stay with this to the other wall. If I could bump him, it would be huge. He actually wave dashed on me, which ended up bumping me somehow. In all my time playing, I don't think I've ever seen that. That was really weird. He wave dashed on me right here, and it bumped me down to the left. If he didn't do that, I actually would have won the ball. Pretty sure. So that's actually an insane thing to see. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that situation before. So that's, like, that's just so cool about Rock League. I mean, the amount of time I've played, there's still situations that I haven't seen. It's just crazy to think about. We got this other boost here. Should be fine for a second. Let's play it across. Can't shoot this. He has to kind of play for the boost. Should be able to score. Hopefully. There we go. Just trying to play that quick. As quick as I possibly could. Because I don't want to get bumped there. Taking one extra second too long. The main thing is getting it on target. I know he's low boost. So as long as like, I hit it forward faster than him. It's going to be a goal. Should get another one out of this potentially. If I can play this wall play properly. I'll play under him. Nice. That was a good play. Kind of force him to have to block his net. Then we have options of either above and below him. Below him is better because we have more time to react to the bounce. 
Death Voice is much boost. The ball kind of comes to you more. If you hit it above him there, you have to kind of chase the ball, which makes it a lot harder. Go for a quick shot here, maybe. Couldn't shoot off that, but it's fine. We can still get the boost. Keep it in, be annoying. I'm going to turn one more time here. Fake challenge, make him flick. Make him flick again. Make him flick again, hopefully. Just by being close. I'm going to do it one more time just to see if he does. And then I'll hit it. Let me commit to the actual play. All those little fake challenges were enough to, to bait him into eventually giving us the ball. And that's the smartest way we could have played out that situation. So, well played. Made some mistakes here and there, but all in all, pretty well played. Let's get into the next one. See if we can keep it up and get back-to-back -back dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, we found this game instantly. We got ourselves Davi Trox, who looks like he's from South America with the ping. That ping is pretty common. South American players around 130, 140. So, you know, it's going to be a really tough game. He's from South America. They're normally extremely aggressive players most of the time. Everyone that I've played from, from Sam, they like to challenge really early. They like to not give you much space. And they like to just be very just aggressive, not giving you time to actually create plays. So... We should try to take the upper hand as early as possible. They're yeah, going to be a sweaty game for sure. I have played uh, this guy before, like I said, in twos. And it's always a, a tough match for sure. Huge bump for us. Good pre flip from him. Just going to get the mid boost here. It's safer. Give me a little bit of space. Fortunately, the bump didn't do enough there. To be honest. Thought the bump would do a lot more. Maybe even kill him. Potentially. But I didn't do much. Yeah, it's surprising I didn't kill him. If I kills him there, I have a free ball rolling back to my back boost. I can gather the back boost and the ball. And again, like I said, go for one of those high percentage plays. It's going to go in more likely than not. I'm going to fake the ceiling. Wait for his touch here. I get the boost. Let me go back down to the ground here. i try to fit them into the net, hopefully. There we go. What I like doing that is because I'll still have 60 boosts after the fact. So worst case scenario there, it's a 50 that goes either left wall or right wall. Best case scenario, I fit him into his net or he misses because he thinks I'm going to be going under him. So he gets faked. Um, but I like that because I still have boosts to work with after the actual play itself. Yeah, we're doing well. We're getting some really good shots on goal. We're making it very tough for him to defend his net. And it's all you can ask for. I'm gonna fake. It's a good demo from him. Let's see what he does here. Probably a shot. That's fine. I don't think he can shoot it again, so I'll just wait. I know it's almost impossible for him to shoot it again. And then this is not really a scorable opportunity. All you can do is hit it around me, so I'm gonna kind of force him to have to do that. Again, same situation here. All you can really do is hit it around me. So as long as I don't give up my position and let him beat me for nothing. Like, if I just dive at something that's not very smart to dive at, then I'm going to get scored on. But if you take your time, you play patiently, and you realize what they can do with the ball, there's no one else to worry about on the field. That's the beauty of 1v1. There's one guy to worry about. That's kind of the classic fake move you're trying to do there. You kind of fake the mid boost off kickoff, and you try to take the shot. That's a really good shot I might be in. That shot. I'll play does really quick. Um, but I was saying on kickoff right there, he faked going for the mid boost, try to wrap behind the ball, and then score on me if I try to steal his mid boost. Um, by Reddit, I also faked that I was going to go for the mid boost. So it was a fake on a fake there. It's actually pretty deep, high level stuff there. That might have went unnoticed. It's going to be a goal, I think. I don't have any boost here. Yeah. Unfortunate. Missed it by just a little bit, but I knew as soon as I missed it, that's a goal. Smallest of margins is enough to get you scored on at this level, playing very good players. So I control this for myself. Let him have that for a second. See what he does. Unfortunate. It's not what I wanted. He actually got a lot of power on that touch back to me. That was well played from him. Try to fake him here. Try to be in a spot where I still have control of this play. That's all I wanted in this situation. I can kind of force him to do something. Should be enough. Potentially get a goal to this. Again, I wanted to play it the patient way because there is a chance that he hits that back into his corner or there's a chance he gets some weird touch that actually goes back toward my net. That looks like what he was trying to do. Get a touch that goes back toward my net somehow by getting underneath the ball. And he was hoping I'd flip it, I think, trying to shoot. 
So I waited an extra second instead, went for the patient play, and no matter what they, if I wait, I'm going to have the advantage. So that's more important than getting the immediate goal if it means you're not going to get scored on or your chances of getting scored on are lower. Good demo, that's going to be a goal for me. Tough bounce for me. Like, there's definitely a world where that bounce goes well for me, and there's no way he can get a goal, right? But that's the beauty of the game as well. It's something you have to be ready for. The fake worked, but not how it's supposed to work. He just went a little bit too fast. Made a little bit of a mistake there on that kickoff. I'm going to go fast here. After I fake twice, I go fast, switch it up. Make him worry about it. Let's go for an air dribble bump, maybe. There we go. Such an effective play. It's almost 100% effectiveness. Like, the only thing in the game, I still stand by this, that is almost always a goal when it happens. There's nothing else that's quite like it. You have time, you have space, you have boost. And there's nobody else that can get in your way. And just one guy back. Pop that ball up, go for the air dribble bump. It's a goal every time. Every single time. Very effective thing in 3v3 as well if you have that 1v1 opportunity. You can even turn something like this to an air bump. It's a little bit tougher. If I just put it toward the net and I go for the bump, it makes him have to worry about it. It's a little bit harder, like I said, because the, the way the ball is coming down is much different than just a normal air dribble. But it's still definitely something that you can do. Let's take our time here. We, we, we can bait him in here. We have a lot of space to work with. I'm going to play to the left again. Kind of bait him in. Make him have to come for this ball. <laughs> I have a two-goal lead here. It's a minute 30 left, man. I mean, I, I could win this game just like this. I mean, it might be boring, <laughs> but it's true. This is the ultimate strat. And then as soon as he starts coming up a bit, I could just go for a shot like that. But I still have the advantage in the same situation here. Play it to the side again. As long as I'm keeping the ball here, it's fine. And a fake jump. Make him turn back to his net. That little turn that he did back to his net was enough. That's all I needed. Fake jump again. I can place it behind him. As soon as I see him turn off that fake jump that I did, that's all I needed. <laughs> but yeah, it's a tough spot to be in. I have full control over the play and all those scenarios. That's why he's respecting me and going back to his net. That's 100% how you should play that situation out. And that's a really well played shot. The only way you could score that is exactly what he did. That was very well played. He sped it up a lot. You got a very powerful, very, very powerful touch on that. And there's no way I can get back to that if he does that. I'm going to slow down right at the end here. Maybe it's into me. All it does is stop like the immediate key off goal from happening against me. Not a bad idea. Don't want to insta rush this. Although I should have already backflipped I think. But fine he made a mistake. There we go. It was really awkward actually the way that landed on my car. Wasn't sure if we'd be able to turn it into a goal but we did. So well played. We got a three goal lead here, 40 seconds. We have to make pretty big mistakes to lose this at this point. Again, I don't mind doing that because I do end up getting the boost here. And the only way to score is if you hit something insane. And I actually ended up missing, so it would have been scorable. But I bumped him off the miss, so. Let's take a shot. There we go. This should be the game. Should be the game. He doesn't have enough time to come back. Unless he scores a bunch of kickoff goals. But obviously, I'm not going to let that happen. I wouldn't do three... Or four bad kickoffs in a row. So you had to try something different there. And he did. That was well played from him. To try to switch something up. Only way you can actually win this game is catching me off guard on kickoffs. Yeah, very good game. Good adjustments we made throughout it. And uh, well played. Well played from him right there as well. To just never shoot that. I jumped early. I was kind of trolling a little bit. Obviously because I have a big enough lead to just win the game. But there the mistake is just obviously jumping early. You jump early. You show your hand too early. You want to... Save what you want to do, like defensively, for as long as possible, whether that be how you challenge the ball, whatever it may be. How you challenge, how you position the net. You don't want to show your opponent what you're going to do too early. I jumped early there, and it gave him an opportunity to just get a free goal. Um, but well played to him. Played really well. And that's going to be all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing me play some ones again. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time is you guys are watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I love y'all. Peace.